do you have trust in the prioritization process? Tonight in the high cost of homelessness, growing calls to shut down a growing and well-known downtown homeless camp known as Old Tent City. Well, the camp has been around for years, but a local nonprofit says Metro needs to commit more resources. Fox 17 News Kylie Walker joining us live from the Metro Courthouse with more on how the city prioritizes camp closures and why this downtown site has yet to shut down. In May 2022, Metro agreed to invest $50 million to address homelessness. However, some feel that this process has been moving way too slow. Remember, Nashville does use a coordinated entry system to get people into housing, and that will be based off of vulnerability and other factors. In January of 2023, this well-known homeless encampment in Brookmead Park shut down after over a decade. It was part of phase one in the city's welcome home housing surge. And early in 2024, in phase two, another well-known homeless encampment shut down in Hermitage. This after years of community complaints. And after at least four camps have been shut down through the city's phase plan, now community advocates want to see Old Tent City address next. How are you guys? Barry Dupnik, who's been cleaning up the homeless encampments across the city for years, says Old Tent City is the biggest in the Tri-County area, calling on immediate action. I've been down there for about two and a half years. Um, trying to, you know, clean and, and help people get out of that situation. Uh, but it is a massive camp, so there's a lot of drug use. Right now, the Office of Homeless Services won't disclose what camps will be addressed next. But the prioritization team will base it off vulnerability, people, location, and environment. Do you have trust in the prioritization process? Yes, I have trust in the process because I trust the people who are on the team. Lisa Waisaki with Colby's Army works with many others on the prioritization team, and she says they're going into encampments for daily assessments with dozens currently on their radar. Evaluating Brookmead and evaluating Old Tent City, and there were several other camps that we evaluated at that same time. Uh, Brookmead was the clear the clear winner and um, uh, as far as, you know, scoring high. This is the form prioritization teams use. They look for things like overdoses, mental health issues, and over 20 other factors before giving a final score. Now, Waisaki also says the city needs more resources. There's not enough housing, there's not enough mental health providers, and there's not enough outreach workers out on the street. Now, this, of course, is a story I'll continue to stay on. For now, reporting live in Nashville, Kylie Walker, Fox 17 News, Chicago Red Station.